Okay, we are up and running on episode three of Daughters of Ash. Man, this recording on the PC is such a hassle. Like, you know what I was struggling with before I started this episode? My fucking controller. Uh, this this game is testing me. I mean, it's not the game. The thing is, uh, I do not have a 360 controller, which is kind of the standard with PC. It is a good controller. I like the 360s. But, oh, and this is the one I had to switch to my other controller, which kind of has a busted uh, circle. But sometimes when I hold it down, there's like a microsecond. It, I guess it just skips detecting the input. Anyways, I'm all over the place. Welcome back to Daughters of Ash. What I was trying to get at is I plug my controller in and I use, uh, it's called DS4 Windows, which allows you to use your DualShock, the PC, and it just didn't work. And I was like, fuck. And I tried unplugging and replugging and unplugging and replugging and unplugging. And then I moved it to a different USB port, which I really should have done earlier. And then now it works. This is the, this can't be a boss. Like this can't be a boss. It's a, all fathers perish the city of the undead. It's the fucking. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? They made it a boss. Wait, there's new bosses in this. Okay, that just. That changes, that officially changes everything. Seriously. There's new bosses in this. Holy shit. Because, you know, I was very much aware of the padding changes. This is, honestly, like, am I stoned? Like this... This dude, whoever made this mod, and I don't know the guy's name, I should look it up. Uh, this dude put hella effort into this. I'm like, god damn. This is impressive. Like, I didn't know there was... I mean, no, actually, I'm wrong. I knew there was new bosses because... What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is... I just Caspered him. Profane image. Yeah, I straight up Caspered his ass. I need to go heal. Looks like it has the same moveset. Just be careful of that attack. Okay. So I'm gonna point out something which might be a problem for the future. It might be a real problem for the future is that I really hate fighting this thing when I'm still weak. Normally I... Damn. Okay. I see what's going on, game. I see what's going on. I guess technically you could go... I could go past the Hydra if I can. But there's no the yawning. I think that's the first Daughters of Ash yawn. But there's no guarantee that the ladder up to that part of the forest is there. I'm I'm still kinda shook. So what I was gonna say, I knew there were new bosses in this because the cut content is in this. And there's at least one cut boss that undead king, whatever his name is, and I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure he's in here. But this, I mean, technically, you could consider this guy a boss, and it's very nice how he actually changed him. Naisu, again, I don't know how this bodes for my future because again normally I hella overpower myself before going to take out this thing 
It's technically because I don't need a Demon Titanite this early on. So it's like, why bother? He doesn't normally give that many souls. See, I wonder if you can make a boss. If he added new boss weapons too, that's a fucked up hitbox. If he added new boss weapons as well, I'm like really gonna lose my shit. By the way, weapons discussion, in-game weapons discussion, FBI, just clarifying before they come and knock in. There were several suggestions. The one I'm liking quite a lot comes courtesy of Fry, who suggested that I use the Balder Side Sword, aka the Balder Swag Sword. That hurt. And I really like that idea, actually. So, I have officially made, you know, an executive decision, which is Baldur's Side Sword it is. Okay, this is a little bit janky. But then again, isn't this how I normally exploit bosses in this game? It kinda is. Oh, you know what's gonna be fucked up if they both wake up? That's gonna be... Really gonna be... Like, playing this shit, if they think... Okay, yeah, this is a little bit... It's all good. He's healed fully. How is he healed fully? Haunting semblance. Was he always... Qu I can't tell if his name changes or not. <laughs> the music. <laughs> the, the, this woman is very scared of something. She's doing her best Michael Jackson. Oh, I get what you have to... You really do have to, like, Casper him out of his normal body. And then you can, like... I like it. And he's... Dead. Soul of a lost demon. If, the, if you can make this into a new weapon... Whew, that's gonna be quite good. This, this probably has some hella... Hella lore on it. We are gonna be lore masters here. Do the spells have... Nah. Oh, no, da, 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 da. Wait, what? Used to boost resistance. It's soul of an infernal being fettered in living titanite. Only the blacksmith deity herself could create such a powerful soul infusion. The faceless statue resembles no known fiend of Isolith. Is this truly an image of chaos or some other ungodly creature from Sans dreams? Damn. So Sen is the smith god. That's what I'm... That's what my lore senses are picking up. He's dead. And we get the blessed ember. Is this... See, I, I can't... I, I can't tell because I have the memory of a goldfish. I don't know. This wasn't called blessed ember. Holy flame gifted to the All Father in celebration of his 3000th dawn day. Only an ember remains, but a devout blacksmith may still use it to consecrate weapons and shields. The annals mar remarked that Sam was initially reluctant to stoke such hallowed fire, even at her husband's insistence. But glimpsed something in the flame that stays with her, stayed with her for the rest of her days. This is so cool. And Sam's fortress is open? There's no way. There's no way they're letting you walk through the front door. This is gonna like shot in front of us, isn't it? I really shouldn't. Before we go there, because I'm not an idiot, for sure. 
Man, you're like not gonna be able to upgrade your weapon then for quite a while. Uh, what are the stats for Balder? The swag sword. It's a dex weapon. Uh, so we are going with... That's what we're going with. Playing it safe for now. Yeah, as I was saying... Swag sword it is. Which is you know, the weapon I do not tend to use, honestly. I don't know why. Oh, he's here. The trap. Amazing trap ahead, of course. What up? I mean, this is a nice place for him. I never, like, realized his accent. It's quite an accent on him. Of course, who's talking but me? Uh, I have Titanite. The boy has Titanite. Damn. Alright. Repair box. He has arrows. I think he has... No, he has the chain stuff. This is the... This is the shittiest looking set in this game. Like... Ain't no way in hell I'm ever buying that. Halberd Longsword, Bastard Sword, Warpick, Cestus, Warrior's Buckler. Mm, usual stuff from what I've seen. Uh, let's reinforce this bitch. I should go back maybe and farm for the Swag Sword. But then again... I also kind of want to explore. Sans Forge. Oh yeah, because Sen is now the Smith God or whatever. They are really letting you just waltz through the front door of Sans Fortress. So the bells are gonna be for what? Because I'm assuming the bells are still in place. I mean let's find out, you know. That's crazy that Andre is here. I mean you know it's the little touches. <laughs> Those trees, man. Those are some, like, PlayStation 1 ass trees. Uh, what is that rally game called? I think it's like World Rally Series or Championship or whatever. PS1. Look at those trees. My favorite from those old racing games was always the crowd. The crowd was just like basically a 2D cutout of people. Which, you know... Just heard on the radio this morning that... Whoa, that dodge. They're actually planning on... Adding cardboard cutout people to German football matches. Because people can't go normally. Which is some clown shit, you know. And apparently, like, if you're a club member... They will, like, straight up make a cutout of you. So... You can, like, attend the game. Which is... Man, that is... That is pretty good. I I thought that arrow was someone hiding out. Waiting for an ow. Don't even think about it, bitch. There's some crazy shit going on in there. Oh. There's Balder Knights. It looks like there's Balder Knights. Which means... I can still farm. And this guy is pretty much the same. So... I'm noticing that... The remixed enemies are placed pretty well. I like that this dude seems to have stuck with the original set of enemies per each area you know like Dark Souls 2 was the prime example I mean Scholar of the First Sin particularly was like the prime example of how not to uh, quote unquote remix enemies because what they did is just they were just like hey we got this guy what is it it's a cyanide fuck it put him here put a couple here 
put one in front of this door you know it's like a lot of the times it just didn't work you know there are like hella cyanides everywhere and it's like what is this fool doing here what are the chances that this is going to be an ambush this is a swag sword version Oh, if I get a swag sword straight from this guy. That would be... God tier. Would have been too much, right? I think it would have been too much. I knew they were going to put an ambush somewhere. I'm going to... Listen, maybe I'm not as much of a parry expert as I thought. Uh, there's plenty. There is plenty Balder Knights down there. That's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. And the more of them have the swag sword, the better. Because this is the buckler one. This is the one we don't want. I wonder if humanity still increases item discovery. I'm assuming like the core mechanics are unchanged. I don't think they tinkered with that. That would be that would be too much. Although they could make or could have put effort into making resistance useful. Uh, I have one Estus. Like this, is, this is stupid, but I'm still gonna do it. Because Baldur's side sword is like dangling in my thoughts. Oh, both of them are aggro. I don't know why I said dangling. Did I ever finish my thought on the German cutout crowds? No, I did not. So yeah, that's a little bit, you know, that is some clown shit, as I said. Like, I, we get it. It sucks not having an audience, you know, but, you know, ah, it's going to be bad. This is bad, bad idea, but you know, it's just ridiculous. Like what the hell happens if it rains? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you're going to have to replace hella cutouts and you know, Germany, it's pretty rainy, but hey, it's how we're going to be doing concerts as well later on in the year, I think. We'll just have like a, oh, are they sitting in the pews? They're not. We're just going to have cardboard cutouts that get transported around with webcams. Hey, are you going to Queens of the Stone Age? My cutout is. We'll get to watch it on Twitch instead. Everybody and their mother is going to have a Twitch account. They still don't have a Twitch account. I don't know why. I mean... You know, people have asked... <laughs> that shit is empty. People have asked why I don't stream on Twitch. And... You know, I always said that, whoa, that was quite a, that's quite a yeeting. You know, I've always said that uh, it really comes down to s sort of logistics, I would say. What the hell is the time? I need to check the time. Oh, we're still good. We're still good. Uh... It really comes down to logistics that I have a pretty rock solid audience here on YouTube. Depending on what game I'm playing, I'm only kidding. Uh, the last, I'll be honest, the last two games I've streamed, the Dark Souls 2 speedrun and Sekiro have not been the most successful series I've ever done. In fact, they had record low viewership 
for my channel, which, you know, I take it, you know, I take it as learning, you know, you got to figure out what people are into and what people are not into. It's just natural that people are going to be interested in certain games more than certain other games. I was really going for the parry there. Uh, so, you know, I take it as data. Double chug, hell yeah. I know why I'm not parrying, because this is the... I'm using that controller. The one with the busted... How, how much HP did I survive with? This is crazy. This... Listen, if you've been around this channel long enough, you know the deal. You know that I cannot have any Souls playthrough where I don't like survive a situation with one or two hit points. It happens regularly. I would say regularly. Which means I'm probably hella lucky. So anyways. So yeah, I, 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 I took all of that as data. Uh, Sekiro ain't the thing people most are most interested in. Dark Souls 2, sometimes. I probably burned people out on Dark Souls 2 a little bit because I did... Probably... Probably it's my most streamed game, actually. Now that I think about it. Which is a little bit crazy. Dark Souls 2, seriously. Probably people got a little bit burned out. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try Binding of Isaac. Are you fucking kidding me? Where... Three of them... I say yet. Oh, come on. Don't tell me increased aggro range is also part of this mod. Because we might have to... Haul ass out of here if that happens. The thing I'm tra like really trying to... Oh, fuck, these dudes can heal. I forgot. Balder Knights can heal. Hey, you could at least... Like, you could really drop the Swag Sword. Like, you could really drop it, but he ain't gonna drop it. This is a fucked up farming path. I technically don't even know if these guys even drop the swag sword. I assume they do because I don't think enemy drops were changed. If I'm like here one hour later farming these three enemies, then I'll begin to doubt it. Um, but there, I've seen nothing so far that indicates that enemy drops are reworked says the guy who just fought a new boss a completely new boss like 20 minutes ago but again I have faith being able to like not being able to consistently parry is shitty though I really gotta like hammer, hammer the point home with this L2. This L2 has been a bitch for a long time now. Uh, and I always say, you know, hey, buy a controller, buy a controller, but I never do. Cause you know, the thing is, rest of this shit works good. So part of me, thanks for the humanity. So part of me is like, why? You know, what's the point? But then again... It's been a problem for a while now. You know, you could really drop... I mean, these are nice drops. This guy has hella aggro range.
I see what you're playing at. I'm not gonna fall for it. Eat shit. Okay, I'm about to eat shit. There we go. Fact that I even pulled off that parry is pretty amazing. Come on. All I want for Christmas is a Balder side sword. And listen, if I obviously once I wrap up this episode, I will continue the grind. So hopefully we will start off the next episode with a fresh Balder side sword in my inventory. If things don't work out right now this I'm I'm my hopes are up I'm gonna have tie nine shards coming out of my ass when I'm done with this technically there's technic oh no 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 technically there's easier balder knights back in the parish not the parish the Berg, which is not called the Berg. It's called something else. You know what? We'll give this one final old try. If you guys know about this mod, again, without spoiling anything, if these dudes do not drop the side sword, please let me know. Although I'm going to be sitting here after. I finish recording. Actually scratch that because I need to edit this. Or like render it and shit. So never mind. But if you know, if you got the deets, you know. Even though I established a no snitching policy in episode one. We are temporarily, temporarily revoking that because I have to know. Why am I not breathing? It's like this isn't... I was sneaking up on this guy like this was Metal Gear Solid. Hey, you know what? Bruh. That's a backstab. You can like really, really come through with a swag sword for me. Please. Nah. He ain't the one. I knew it. I was just about to say. Fuck you, controller. Oh, no. It was queued up. My action was queued up. Which sucks. I would say these guys are still weaker than... I'll give you the chug. I'll let you have that chug. Yeah, because nor these, these Balder Knights are normally a little bit stronger than this, right? But I, I don't know, actually. Are they? I know I have a plus one weapon. Come on, bitch. Come on. Thank you, camera. For cooperating. No, it's too risky. Please. Nah. I have so little HP. I was just about to say, I really have to play this smart. And I did the exact opposite of that. Shit. I hate farming. It's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. 
Have I been even going for half an hour? I think I have. Because I have my phone charging over there, which you cannot see. But I do. So yeah, we'll see. I'll wrap it up here. If this is shorter, I apologize. This series is going to continue on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is a stream day. Hope you guys are there. Peace out. This is really fun. Can't believe they added a new boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm still shook about that. Yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. And see you later, guys.